here's the old golf cart. I believe this is a 1986 golf cart. It's a club car. It's gas powered. And the tires aren't that bad on it. Um, this thing was bought years and years ago. It was driven around some. And then uh, it set for quite a few years. And I got it back out and started driving it about two years ago. And um, as I was driving it, the carburetor kept getting worse and worse. And then it started flooding over. And I was afraid it was saturating the crankcase with gasoline. So I just quit driving it and parked it here. But we're going to get this thing out. We're going to clean it up and get it to run again. The first thing we got to do is clean off some of the crap that's been put on this thing. I mean, it's got patch panels, the piece for the fluorescent light that's supposed to have up there with the cover over it. Um, this is out of a friend of mine's truck, an old white. It was a dump truck. I just took it for the gauges and the panel. Figured I'd do something with it. Me snow blower. It's a just a yardman, but it does have tracks and a, I believe it's a nine horse motor. But we really don't get enough snow here to use it properly. As you can see, I got a whole pile of crap up there. Um, those fenders are the rear fenders for like a 54 Ford pickup. I got them because I want to try to make a, some kind of a bed for my 49 Ford. And I got to cut the fenders up anyway. Um, my chop saw, an old chainsaw. We got some tires up here. Mm-hmm. Got a whole stack of tires actually. Got more back in there. All for my mud bog truck. There's a whole bunch of crap up there I gotta go through. And on the golf cart here, you know, I got a grease gun in here, I see, and some stuff for the garden, charcoal. Got all kinds of stuff here. And over here, we got my spare garden tractor. It's a 14 horse Husqvarna. It was my dad's, and um, no one ever really greased the front end and stuff that much, but it is a 1989. But the front end is wore out, so I really need to go through and um, fix all the front end stuff because it is a handful to drive, even at lawnmower speeds. We got a 88 Dodge pickup. 39,000 miles, two-wheel drive, 318 V8, first year for the Holley fuel injection. See the metal topper there? It's like aluminum camper that they cut the top off of and they sell them. And it's just like a little bed cover. And this was my dad's truck. He had that on there. We put it up here on these ropes and the back ropes broke and let this fall. Must have happened sometime in the winter. I haven't been out here for a while. And um, we're going to have to see if we did any damage there. But sometime in the summer, I like to get this truck out. I believe the fuel pump is bad. I'm sitting here, and I know the gas tank straps are a little rusty. Here's part of a door latch for 49 Ford pickup. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get this to work again or not. That is one thing I am lacking on my 49 Ford pickup. I need two door latches for the inside of the door. Both of mine are in pretty bad shape. And it would be nice if the doors would stay shut. So we got a little blacktop sealer here. We'll have to check that and see if it's any good. There's not that much in there, don't feel like. Maybe do a little driveway repair. And we got a roller fire lead for the winch. Mm-hmm. Looks like the bolts want to come out. Don't get the nuts on there. Okay, the key is in it. That is a plus. Let's look under the hood here. Seat, whatever you want to call it. Here is the air cleaner, which I know is just on there because I took the battery out of it. We can get that up out of there for now. 
like over here is the battery tray. That's where the battery needs to be. But I don't have one right now, so I have to get one of them. Right here is a issue with the golf cart, is the carburetor. Now when I was running this last time, it was flooding over and I was getting gasoline in the air cleaner and I assume it's in the motor too. So what I need to do first off is take this carburetor apart and try to clean it. I looked for a kit once and um, didn't really see a carburetor kit listed for an 86. Seems like if I remember correctly it was 92 and up. <clears throat> but um, oh there's some websites. Buggies Unlimited I think or something maybe where I was looking that may have parts for this. I may or may not need parts. My experience has been a lot of times on old carburetors that when you tear them apart the gaskets seem to swell and distort enough that they don't always go back together. But we'll give her a shot and see what we got. I mean we ain't got nothing else to lose. It's no good the way it is. So there's the first look at the golf cart. The next look at it will probably be taking the carburetor off there and cleaning it up. Because I'd really like to drive it out of here instead of pull it out of here. But we'll see how that goes. Now, the other thing is, this metal building is a 20 by 20 metal building. It has those metal arches or whatever you want to call them. I'd like to find some of those. Whether i got to buy them off a company that um, sells these buildings or if I uh, find a damaged building or something. But I'd like to get a couple more of those for a 20 foot wide building and uh, extend this to more of them. And I'd also like to take maybe here on the sides because I just got those galvanized box tubing coming down. Extend this thing. I wouldn't mind to make this garage big enough that I could put a lift in and maybe start working out of here. So if anybody happens to know a company that may sell individual parts, please let me know. I contacted one company and they would sell me a new building, but they weren't interested in selling me parts. So um, I say if anybody happens to know any tips on where you get building parts. I believe this is an Eagle building, but I really don't care as long as it's the same slope and the same angle. Alright, well this will be this episode. Um, there will be more to come later. I got a couple other videos that may be put in front of the next golf cart video, but stay tuned, it's coming. Um, like I say, the next one will be that carburetor getting taken off.